Since 2017, more than 2,000 cattle have gone missing in South Dakota, and those are just the ones reported. The actual number is suspected to be much higher. With calves and cows worth anywhere from $900 to $2,000 a piece right now, cattle wrestling is a big business. It's a risk thieves are willing to take because so few are ever caught. Tonight, we begin our Kettleland News investigation into the great cattle heist with some wrestlers who were rounded up. Out of the thousands of livestock reported missing in South Dakota in the last few years, fewer than 20 percent are ever recovered. But when a cattle rustler is caught, it's a serious crime. In July, Aaron Podsmick of Wagner was sentenced for stealing more than $300,000 worth of cattle and feed checks in Charles Mix County. Podsmick ran a feedlot and sold cattle that didn't belong to him. He pleaded guilty to one felony of embezzlement or grand theft. He'll spend a year and a half in prison and must pay the owners back nearly $333,000. In 2019, Joshua Nygaard pleaded guilty in a plea bargain of possessing stolen property after taking 29 head of cattle from a Moody County farm. Nygaard was sentenced to two and a half years in prison and ordered to pay $31,450 in restitution. In 2017, Nicholas Tooker was arrested in Texas and faced extradition to South Dakota on a felony cattle theft charge out of Hamlin County. He ended up paying the owner $10,000 for the steer, and the charges were dismissed. In 2015, Kyle Allen Hall got seven years for grand theft after taking 11 calves from a Hyde County ranch where he worked as a hired hand. Hall sold the calves on Craigslist. <coughs> Yet hundreds of cases of missing cattle go unsolved every year, like the four producers in McPherson County who lost 111 cattle last fall. Here's the difficult part when it comes to investigating these thefts. You know, a lot of times the producers will turn their cattle out in the spring, and you know they often do uh, run through their cattle, I'm sure, on a weekly basis, sometimes even a couple times a week. Um, but in the large areas, you know, it's kind of hard to get a, a really good head count until you gather in the fall. See that wire? Lesterville area farmer Dan Kubel is a little luckier. He has evidence the thieves left behind when they stole 17 head of cattle from him in July. They used horses, two horses. We found the tracks of that. Uh, it was very well organized, let's put it that way. Investigators are hoping something breaks in Kubel's case. We'll take a look at how the thieves rounded up his cattle and what other evidence they left behind as our investigation into cattle rustling continues. Plus, we see how different rules for different sides of the state make it easier to get away with this crime. The U.S.